Hello everyone, and welcome to my General Hospital News YouTube channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribers button and give this video a thumbs up. General Hospital spoilers for Thursday, May 9, reveal that Blaze Akat Allison Rogers will express excitement over her new single and suggest it's going to be the stylish one yet. But Natalia Ramirez may be stuck on that guitar solo that she disapproves of. Indeed, if Blaze gets another guitar player to record it, Natalia may argue that it's still not right. Since Natalia seems determined to have Blaze's family playing on the track, it may not be long until Elo gets dragooned into showing up in Poor Charles. Over with Jordan Ashford, she'll have good news for Laura Collins about the shorefront design that Drew Kane's been securing the backing for. Still, Jordan will also offer updates on Sonny Corinto's desire to make a charitable donation to the Vagacity. We'll see Jordan offer a warning of some kind, so Laura may turn against Sonny indeed more by the end of this discussion. Next, Sam McCall will disaccord with Jason Morgan over Danny Morgan again and seek a pledge that their son won't be walking into commodity dangerous if he hangs around his pater. During that tense discussion, Jason will tell Sam about his FBI arrangement. Han may admit he can't make a real vaticination on what'll go down from then. That said, Jason will clearly do everything in his power to keep Danny safe. Over with Ava Jerome, she'll be affected in further ways than one. Sonny Corintos will leave Ava feeling snubbed since he's more interested in cozying up to Natalia than her at this point. It turns out Sonny will also cross the line by bringing up Kiki Jerome's demise and ever affronting Ava. How dare you throw my son's murder in my face? Ava declares angrily in Thursday's GH exercise videotape. Back with Natalia, she'll be eager to score an assignation to Brooke Lynn Quartermain and Harrison Chase's Josh Swickard espousal. So it looks like Sonny may ask her to be his plus one before the week's over. In the meantime, Hamilton Finn will provoke Gregory Chase's fury when he expresses Chase's wishes. Chase doesn't suppose Gregory should attend the trial regale in Connie Island and would rather see his pater rest up for the big day in Port Charles. That news supposedly won't go over well with Gregory, so he'll face off with Finn and ultimately mock him for speaking him about proper marriage form. Gregory may end up reminding Finn of his once miscalculations since his son slept with Jackie Templeton the night before her marriage to Gregory. Finn has formerly been dealing with plenitude of regrets over his once blunders and all the times he lost with his pater. So let's stop gap he can smooth effects over snappily and avoid wasting precious time. General hospital spoilers say Gregory will substantially be worried about the worsening symptoms that he can't control, so he may settle down and realize that soon enough. General hospital spoilers tease that the Quartermain family was shocked that Olivia Falconeri hired Sasha Gilmore as the new chef for the family. This seems odd for several reasons. First, Sasha was formerly involved romantically with Michael Corintos, who's a member of the family and lives in Boathouse with his woman. In addition, until a couple weeks ago, Sasha has made no citation of her history of cuisine or that she worked professionally at an eatery preliminarily. Her capability to cook appears to have manifested out of thin air. General Hospital Spoilers Sasha Gilmore has relatively a various history in Port Charles. When Sasha first came to City, she was hired by Valentin Cassidine to pretend to be Nana Reeves' long-lost son. She's been through a lot since the ruse was discovered and has paid That's further than enough because Lucy co pursued Sasha in the expedience that she'd come the face of deception. Sasha accepted, and until lately, she sounded happy as a model and profit for the ornamental company. But a many weeks ago, Sasha blazoned she was not happy presently and left the economic position. GNA spoilers. Will Sasha Gilmore uncover a connection she no way knew about? Sasha has spoken quite a bit about both her mama and her grandmother, but not important about her father. It's unclear exactly what Sasha relationship was with her father, but he has supposedly passed down. Could he have been a quarter main from a different branch of the family? Sasha looks quite a bit like a former quarter main kinsman who formerly called Port Charles her home. 
Maybe Celia Quartermain is Sasha's paternal grandmother. General hostile spoilers. Could Celia Quartermain return to Port Charles? Celia has not been mentioned in a veritably long time, but she had loves with both Grant Putnam and Grant Andrews, as well as Jimmy Lee Holt. She was also stylish musketeers with Holly Sutton. Maybe Sasha will find a picture of Celia and find it familiar. This could lead to a big reveal of Sasha's status as a quarter main kinsman. Indeed, though she was with Michael at one point, they would be distant relatives at Stylish, so that should minimize any awkwardness. Sasha discovering ties to a prominent family in Port Charles could open up story possibilities for the youthful woman. GH spoilers. What do you suppose? Do you suppose it's a step backward for Sasha to take a position as a chef? Could Sasha have ties to the Quartermains that she was ignorant of? Could she be Celia Quartermain's granddaughter? Anything can be in Port Charles, so stay tuned to General Hospital, raising weekdays on ABC. Anything is possible in the land of Port Charles, and Soaps.com lately asked actor John Lindstrom what his studies were around another run for Ryan. Lindstrom notes that he just doesn't know if bringing Ryan back is presumptive. As, we all saw him dead in a body bag. It's important for suckers to flash back that back in 1995. Ryan was presumed dead from an explosion. There's such a big difference from his end last time. G.H. Spoilers John Lindstrom entertains a horrifying idea still. As John's interview with Soaps.com progressed, the actor entertained an intriguing idea. He notes that day pens are both resourceful and creative. So if there's a will, there can be a way. Lindstrom goes on to say, It won't be over to me, I can tell you that. He adds that if the G.H. Pens wanted to revitalize Ryan, he'd jump in right down. At the end of the day, there's really one horrifying way that Ryan could still be alive, and that's if he slipped places with his binary family, Kevin Collins, at some point that cataclysmal night when Ryan was shot by Mac. Suckers noticed an odd change over Kevin, after Ryan's death and had suspected months after Chamberlain's end that this may have been the case. Still, Kevin has kindly slipped back into his old tone with no real signs that he could be Ryan. Still, that doesn't mean this plot couldn't be at some point in the future. Also again, what Kevin and Ryan may not be halves perhaps they're simply two siblings that are part of a triad triumvirates. Anything can be in detergents, right? Would you drink a Ryan Chamberlain return? Partake your studies below. Catch the popular ABC Cleaner daily to stay on top of stories. Visit CTS regularly for the stylish General Hospital spoilers, news, and updates. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.